Isaiah chapter number 16, 16th book of the Bible, Nehemiah. Uh, continuing on Moab. Send ye the lamb to the ruler of the land from Selah, Selah, to the wilderness, unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. Uh, the lamb. Explain how to get right with God. A sacrifice. Bring him the land. Let him sacrifice. Selah, that's Selah Petra, the rock city, where Israel will go in the uh, in the uh, near the end of the tribulation, unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. That's Jerusalem. So look at the three places you've got in just one verse. Moab, Salapetra, and Jerusalem. For it shall be that as a wandering bird cast out of the nest, not by self will, the bird is thrown out. And if it's a young bird, it can't fly back. So the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnon. So cast out of the land, they run to this place of the river, the women. Take counsel, vice, execute judgment, find who's guilty, find who's not guilty. Make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the new day. I don't have no idea. Hide the outcast. Beray not him that wandereth. Let my outcast, God speaking, dwell with thee, Moab. Like Lot, the Jews are running in the tribulation period. Let my people go through. Give them passage. Be thou a cover to them from the face of the spoiler. People who come in after the war is over, after the battle, to the spoil. Help the Jews. For the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceases, he stops. The oppressors are consumed out of the land. <coughs> We're coming to the end of the tribulation period. And in mercy shall the throne be established. And he, God, shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David. So there's the Lord Jesus Christ, Luke chapter 1. He shall sit on the throne of David, judging and seeking judgment and hasting righteousness. So God is calling out to Moab saying, listen, my people are going to be on the, on the run. They're outcasts. Of who? Of the Antichrist. You better help them. Jesus says in Matthew, I will divide the nations among the goats and the, and, and the sheep. And the goats are those that don't help the Jews. The sheep are ones that help the Jews. So we find a particular passage in Isaiah 16 where they're asked by God to help. And look at what Jesus Christ sets up. Judge it. Judge not least you be judged. Explain that to Jesus. Uh, seeking judgment. He's judging and seeking out judgment. So there will be right and wrong in the millennium. And hasten righteousness. Righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud. Pride is never with God. It's a shameful thing for a Christian to say, I'm proud of you, or pride. He won't help the Jew. 
even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath. But his lies shall not be so. He's a liar. It says in Revelation, liars will have their part that burns in the lake of fire, I think, or something like that. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab, for their own kind. Everyone shall howl. For the foundation of ker shall ye mourn. Surely they are stricken. So here they place. It's been stricken by God and it's going to cause a howl, a mourning. For the fields of Heshman language. All right, the city of verse 7, and here's the field, and the vine of Simma. The lords of the heathen, leaders, rulership, have broken down the principal plants thereof. Why would you do that? Why would you take down a main crop? They are come even unto Jazer. They wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are stretched out. They are gone over the sea. So this plant here is far out. Over the sea where Moabite is would be the Dead Sea, I assume. If there's not another sea over there. It's stretching out. It's, it, it's live. Therefore I will be well with the weeping of Jazer, the vine of Sidna. I will water thee with my tears, O Heshbon and Elah, for the shouting for thy summer fruits and for thy harvest is fallen. It's a shouting not, you know, here's the crops. There is no crop. Tears don't produce much water. Very little Lord water and it's not going to produce crops. The people who got spread spread out, they got to leave. There's no food. Maybe God's got to get them out of Moab so the Jews can get through. If the Moabites stay, they may stop Israel. They didn't give Israel passage when Moses came through. The gla and gladness is taken away. And joy out of the plentiful, plentiful, plentiful field. And in the vineyards there shall be no singing. It's a rejoicing time when it's time to pick the, the grapes. Hey, we got crops, we got work, and here's our food. No, not anymore. Neither shall there be shouting of rejoicing. The treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. And that would be a great celebration time when you take all the grapes to the presses and they stop them with your feet. They'd be dancing and singing while they're stepping on the, the, the grapes and making wine. That's not going to happen. There will be no crops. There will be no joyfulness. Listen, God's the author of weather, not El Nemo. And if you don't give God the credit, he ain't going to give you the rain. You need rain. Or he'll give you just enough rain that does nothing. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. And like I said, it's probably a wonderful, great time of celebration to harvest. The harvest is done. They've gone out and picked all the grapes. Now you just take all the grapes and you put them into the presses. There's no more picking. The hard work is done. Wherefore my bowels shall sound like a heart for Moab. And my inward parts for Ker Herseth. And shall come to pass when it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place where they worship their gods. That he shall come to his sanctuary to pray. 
Moab's coming to the fallen gods, the, the, the gods, to the temples to pray. But he, Moab, shall not prevail. Come on, Mr. God, give us rain, give us crops. You ain't going to get it. When the Baalites and the Elijah, they're, 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 they're crawling on the God, they're cutting themselves, and they get no answer. That's what's going to happen. Elijah steps up to the scene, he pours water, and pours water, and pours water, and pours water. The whole thing is soaking wet, there's a trench full of water. He prays to God, and the, not only fire, but fire devours everything, including the water and the rock. By the way, they were in a famine. There was no rain. I think, I think it said three and a half years. Ahab sends, sends his, him and his manna. There's still little streams. Try to find some grass. The stream that Elijah was at dried up. A woman's walking through the town and saying, I'm picking two sticks. Two sticks. You can count the sticks of what you can pick up. And that's what this land of Moab is going to be like. See, the Bible is not a boring, dry book. They were against God, and God sent them famine and drought. And here we're reading again in chapter 16. Why don't Moab just get right with God of Israel? It's like witnessing to people on the street. Knocking on their doors. Why don't you just get right? No. I live a miserable life, but my God makes me happy. This, now closing up chapter 15 and chapter 16. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning Moab since that time. But now the Lord has spoken, saying, All right, what God has said in times past. Now God's saying, within three years, as the years of a hireling, I guess a hireling is hired for three years, and the glory of Moab shall be condemned. Not good. With all that great multitude, great people, a lot of people, and the remnant, something's going to happen to that multitude. Death by famine and by drought shall be very small, all right, very little left, and feeble. They're not going to be able to take care of themselves, not be able to strong, won't be able to fight for themselves. And Moab is an enemy to Israel, and Israel's got to go through Moab to get to sail Petra. And God has to wipe them out to a very small remnant and feeble so they can't fight to get his people through. These people that are enemies with Israel remain enemies with Israel. 3,000, 4,000 years later. That's a remarkable statement. And when it's written about them and, and prophecies have happened, they still don't get right. When we close with the burden of Moab, and it's sorry that here it is written, here they can pick it up, here they can order it online to get a Bible. They can read it online. They can have it spoken to them on computers today. You can go online and have Isaiah 15, 16 read to you as a Moabite, as a man that's in the area, and hear what God has said against you. And you still turn away. That's a sorry thing. And you read in the book of Revelation, 
all the plagues, everything that happened, and yet men did not repent of their witchcraft. Men did not repent of their sin. Man did not get right. Man is rebel against God. <laughs>